In this tutorial, we will learn how to remove objects from our R global environment. And so in R Studio, you can see your global environment here, and it'll be this panel here. So as we create objects, such as reading in a data frame and naming a data frame, or creating a new table and naming it, or creating a, doing some type of variable assignment, it'll appear right here. Now, if you wanted to remove everything, you can always click right here to clear this entire workspace here. But what if you want to do it using script or you only want to remove specific objects from your global environment? How do we do that? So the first thing that we're going to do is create, go to File, New File, R Script. And let's do a Save As to save our R Script. I'm going to save it as Test. Override the existing. And so the focus of this tutorial is removing objects from our global environment. So the first thing we need to do is create some objects. And so I'm going to set the working directory here for this session. And using the setwd function from base R, my working directory is as follows. And this is where a particular file is saved that I'm going to read in. And in particular, that file is this file that's called data cleaning example. Okay, so I'm gonna actually copy that exact name so I can read it in with that exact name. And so I'm gonna reference that particular folder here, which is that folder called R workshop in my H drive that contains that data file. And I'm gonna run that. So that sets my working directory. The next thing I'm gonna do is just for the purposes of reading in a data frame and naming it so then we can subsequently remove it from our global environment is read in data as data frame. And you can use, if you haven't already, you can install the reader package if, if that's what you're choosing to use to read in your data. And I'll use the library function with the reader package name exactly here. Notice we don't use quotation marks when we're using the library function. I'm going to click Run. I'm not going to install this package because I recently did, but I do know I have it installed, so I just need to use the library to access it or to check it out from our library of packages that we have previously installed. And so the next thing I need to do is create some kind of data frame object. I'm going to create a new data frame called DF1. It's very arbitrary, and I'm naming it such using this left-handed arrow naming convention. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is use the read underscore CSV function that comes from this reader package that I just accessed and previously installed. So the name, if you recall, and I remember this is something that I had previously copied, the exact name is data cleaning example with a capital D, capital C, capital E, and no spaces. And I just need to add that dot CSV because this is a dot CSV file. I need to specify that this is in fact a CSV because this is a read underscore CSV or comma, comma separated values read function. So let's click run. Okay, and so we can click now on DF1. We see that that is in our global environment here. So this data frame has been read in. So this is something we can remove in a second. But before we do that, let's create a table. And we'll create the table from variables that are located in this data frame object we just read in and called df1. Okay, so let's uh, name, what are we going to call this new table object? Let's call it table underscore one. And we'll use the left-handed arrow naming convention to name it. And then we are going to use, you could use the table function from base R or the, the x tabs. I'm going to use the x tabs function. I like writing with the x tabs and it's a little bit nicer table when it comes out in terms of more information. Um, getting the variable names within the table, that is. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is use the tilde symbol, and then to the right of the tilde symbol, list the, the variables. We're just going to do a quick two-way table. So what variables do we want to focus on from DF1? Let's do um, job level by, let's say, onboarding complete. Yeah, let's create a table that's job level by onboarding complete. So we'll do job level variable, the plus sign, onboarding. And let me see, is that onboarding completed, not complete. So onboarding completed. 
And then, so this is our first argument here in the X tabs function, and then comma, and then data equals. So what data frame do these belong to? Well, DF1, that's the name of the data frame that we read in here, okay? All right, so let's click run. And now we see we have that table object here. If you wanna view it, you can highlight it here and just the name of that table underscore one, the object we created, click run, and you can see that down here. It's a very simple table here uh, down in our output. Nonetheless, it's something we can remove. And then finally, let's do a variable assignment. And let's say that the variable A is gonna be equal to or have the value of three. So we'll use A, the left-handed arrow, and then assign the value of three to that object A. So let's run that. So now we have three different objects in our R global environment. Uh, how do we know what objects are in our R global environment? If we don't want to look at that panel or if you're working in base R and not in R studio. So if we want to list those objects, we can use a function that is simply LS. So that is an LS lowercase and just Nothing, no arguments in the parentheses, just run it with an empty function there. Click run, and you'll see we have the three objects that we can see clearly here. Variable, assi variable assigned to A, DF1, table one, okay? Now, if we want to remove one of these objects, so remove one object from that global environment, all we need to do is use either Either, ver either form of the remove function from base R. So the full name is remove. And so you could type it as remove and then just list the object that you wish to remove here. So let's remove object A here. Okay, and now you see object A is gone from our global environment. Now, alternatively, I'll just put this as a hashtag notation here. You could do this, RM A and RM is the short form of the remove function. It will work the same way. Now, if you wanna clear your entire global environment using script, you, you, I mean, if you didn't use script, you could click on the broom here to do that to clear your whole workspace. But if you wanna remove all objects, well, here you can just use this um, script here. Remove, and then within as your first argument within the room function, do list is equal to, and then just the ls function, and make sure you finish it out with quotation or with um, its own parentheses here. Okay, so make sure you get all the parentheses there. So just list is equal to ls function, and so we're just basically saying the list of objects here. Just remove all of them. Okay, so let's click run. Now everything is gone. Our environment is empty and we're back to where we started, okay? This can be really handy, especially removing single objects or um, it, when you get into the situation when you have noticed that, oh wow, this is getting really cluttered here. Um, there's A lot of these objects are no longer relevant or something like that. You can remove some or all of them. All right, so this wraps up the tutorial on removing objects from your R global environment.